anything about Ronnie's deck? It's the um, well, we we chat a bit out uh, in our group, and uh, he plays. Uh, he's trying out the Yo Kikita Yoshi with a like kind of like storm, so he. Uh, Tries to get in pro favor as fast as possible, and then like use test of skill to just draw cards on cards on oh, cards. Oh, this is that deck. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I've been I've been wanting to see this deck in action. I haven't had a chance to. <clears throat> yeah. So. Crazy. Now this is gonna be interesting if Tyler runs uh, endless planes or not. I I tried unicorn with endless planes, but. No endless pl endless planes. I feel like is. <sighs> it's so easy for your opponent to play. That's exactly around. right. Yeah. yeah. So I, I kind of want a province that does something like during the imperial cycle we got uh, access to like ride in the streets, which is pretty nice because we have a lot of bushi in Unicorn. Oh, so but we'll see what uh, Kyle's chosen ones. Uh, Just doing their their initial mulligans. So think, it, it, so you think Ronnie is. So let me tell you, because I know you as a crane player, mm -hmm. right? You have your deck, yep. uh, and your deck runs crab, so it's a much more of a aggressive. That's exactly right. Yeah. So deck. usually my objective is to get to your stronghold by turn yeah. three at all costs. Like uses so many covers from skirmishers with um, political rivals as well. And Ronnie's is a little bit different. Uses uh, Kakita's ability to kind of um, reduce cost so that uh, he can use. Um, Fate worse than death, but uh, we're cost. Right, right. He's talking about Kikita Kazen, so he could reduce the cost on. No, Kikita Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi. Not the. Right. Not that duelist. Yes. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know what you meant. Well, but uh, the reason I bring that up is because uh, Ronnie, he's not going for like the turn one brash samurai. Doji. No. Oh my god. Okay. So usually for me. What? I know. Scout. I know. I know. What? It's. He does oh a very gosh. interesting, uh, cautious scout. That apparently he uh, he prefers that over Brash Hammer, which I don't know. For me, mm -hmm. I love Brash Hammer. It's <laughs> both you and I. I think you would be in agreement that we also love. Uh, <laughs> okay. Eat a traitor for the Eat first play traitor. from Tyler. Okay. There you go. The answers with a Doji, uh, Doji Whisper. Uh, yes, that's right. Yep. Um, I would assume Tyler's gonna pass or buy a border rider with one Fey. Now, also on Tyler's side, I do agree that border riders are very nice. Uh, I like them a lot. Okay. Plays border rider with zero Fey. Oh, no, there one you go. Fey. All one Fey. Fey. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you kind of want this guy around because he kind of does like double conflicts. For sure. <clears throat> I like. <clears throat> I like that a lot. It's one of the few two drops that I would consider putting more than one fate on mm -hmm. if I played it out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put my phone on silent. Well, you mean you're not gonna text tips to to Ronnie? The night? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I could, but that might be a conflict of interest. So it looks like Tyler was the one to pass first after Ronnie played his. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can't. Uh, Oh, okay. So, Ronnie with four and Tyler with five. Yep. <coughs> so, one of the other things I wanted to mention is that the Imperial Palace is in play on Ronnie's side. Yes. So, that's so going to help, help him grab that grab Imperial favorite. Exactly. In fact, that's probably one of the things he was aggressively mulliganing yep. for. At the he might have also seen it early so that he just like, kept it because I wasn't around when, he, when I saw the mulligans. Mm -hmm. So, I assume that's what happened, which is very nice. I like that a lot. Um, Tyler showing off uh, that really cool looking roll card that you can get from the Battle for the Strong Hill kit. Or, right. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like it. So now we, we see the reason why uh, Tyler played the Eat a Traitor. He throws down a spyglass onto the Border Rider. Oh, I see what he's going to try were, to do. They were made for each yeah. other. <laughs> Every time I try to put a. Shinjo scout with a spyglass and a spyglass. It's like he's <laughs> <laughs> running around both yep. spyglasses. <laughs> Double glasses. Oh, wait right. the crane on the scout. Wow. Uh, it's probably just to turn on his uh, voice, oh, for voice of honor. Yeah. yeah. That's why, in my opinion, I like Brash Samurai right? because he just does it himself, right? Yeah, for but, sure. Yeah. But it's, his it's, play style is a lot different than mine, right? Yeah, putting wave the crane on a on a 
on a character with only one glory. But uh, like you said, right? He's got he's got a way of playing things. Yep. He drops down a steward of law too. He probably wants to get down. Uh, interesting. Now rather than later. And he puts a fade on it. Yeah. I oh, mean, that's why he did it. He plays calling in favors. Wow. To steal the spyglass. Yeah. Now Tyler knows what uh, splashy is. So. So now this is interesting. Um, what was I gonna say? Now I'm kind of questioning what Ronnie splashes like. Calling of favors, probably well, four G-Dicks. Yeah, from what I understand, <coughs> this this deck doesn't it run? Um, it doesn't run a worse than that. It does. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the point, right? You're yeah. cycling through your deck as quickly yep. as possible, test the skill, just to grab those cards and exactly. And you can take the honor hit yep. when you reshuffle your deck because you're crane. Because you have so many ways to honor yourself, and then yeah. just uh, oh, oh man, this steward of law is gonna go to town. <clears throat> All right, so Tyler with the first conflict, he's gonna declare an earth political conflict on fertile fields. Fertile fields. Oh, okay. So he's chose opted to move out of Manager Garden, which is smart considering his deck where he wants to find more cards as fast as possible. Now the question is though, like it. If you know anything about his deck, do you know if he um, if he has a way of keeping up like money wise? Like if he has the economy to. I think he just relies solely on the discount on the. I believe they're discussing on how the Eda Trader gains fate. Now, if he com yeah, if they both show up together, then yes. no. Committing is not moving into that's a conflict. Correct. Yes, you I learned that to, the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to. You'd have to use like the stronghold or. Any other move effects? So we're gonna get a judge call for that. It? Yeah, go ahead. Most likely, the question is going to be: uh, Does he indeed get the money or the, the draw card off Eater Trader's ability? And the answer will be no, cannot. So uh, our um, this is just just for for people who uh, are not clear exactly what the nature of this event is. So this is a, we're calling it the L5R Breakout Festival. It's a, something that we wanted to have. We wanted to have a, a Legend of the Five Rings event at Canadian Nationals because we thought it would just only be fitting to have something that was an L5R event at Canadian Nationals, even though this is not a Cote or anything. However, that being said, uh, as you can see, because of the Korean Hatamoto being here, um, there, is, there is a high caliber of skill level at attendance today. Oh, so man, that, yeah. that's Crane's acrylic looks so beautiful. That's kind of the one of the reasons that I really wanted What's to What's the name today. of the Crane Stronghold? Do you remember? Shizo... Here. We can find Shiz out. Uh, Shizuka Toshi? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Look okay. at it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, baby. The stronghold is fawning over the plastic uh, oh, Stronghold geez. cards. Look, look at that. prizes today. So using that to bow the Border Rider. And it looks like a... What was that card he just played? Court games. Oh, to get up his... Uh, to honor his... Eda to go trainer. four yeah. to five, it looks like. Yeah, uh, four to five. Mm. I think Ronnie should have went for the... No, it's five to five, right? Because you have the spyglass and the... Thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, is Ada Trader's glory at two or one? One. So four, right? Four right, sorry, okay. you're right, because he bowed the border yeah. yep. Um Matt But he, is, oh, he could also ready it up whenever he wants to, yep. but he probably wants to do that as a next conflict action, so he could try to do two. Yeah, I like that. All right, so it looks like Ronnie won that conflict. He did. Um, looks like Tyler didn't want to probably commit any more cards to that. I respect that. Now, Ronnie already does have a copy of Test of Skill, so usually with that kind of thing, you kind of want to go more into events. Right. Because you want to hit that in. Yeah, well, yeah, push. I mean, most... Yeah, this <coughs> if, deck if, is now, very attachment yes, light, if, uh, right. from what yeah. I understand. Now, I'm surprised that Ronnie went for air instead of... <coughs> so, meditations on the on the Dao was revealed. However, if I understand uh, Cautious Scout's ability, if it's attacking That's, alone, you don't get to trigger it. That is exactly right. The defender, the province, actually, is blank. Yeah, because if, if Pathfinder's Blade's good, I mean, what about a character that's just uh -huh. Pathfinder Blade? Yeah, Pathfinder, Pathfinder Blade root. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta defend. Yeah. See, so, yeah, defending oh. with Border Rider. I'm uh, see, I'm surprised that uh, Ronnie didn't go for water there. So that he can ready up his doji and 
or something. That's true. Because then he could try to do two attacks. But this I turn. mean, if he is going for air, like you said, right? He's probably mm. just uh, going to. Oh, he's probably trying to cushion his yeah, um, for when he runs through his. That's deck. exactly right. Yes. So that was an honor. Sorry, uh, Tyler loses one honor for not yep, defending the province. Was, yep. And now I think and Ronnie's deciding. I th think he's gonna just grab two. Oh honor. no no no! See no no no! He he thought the same thing I did. He just grabbed the wrong ring by accident. Ah okay. See. All right. Like, well there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All our strategizing was for naught. I yeah, suppose. No no no! Like I'm just that initial. Like, yeah. That's the confusing part with uh, Legend of Five Rings, where like. Air and water look so similar, and when people make custom versions oh, of it, oh, like all, the last round. Yeah, together, I it. kept looking at them, and I'm like, "Is this what this is? No, it doesn't look like that." <laughs> Which good on them to make custom versions. It's just I wish they made it, uh, you know. <laughs> so Tyler's gonna this time is gonna push through a military conflict of his own, mm. uh, going for the void ring, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure. Uh, one of these characters don't stick around. He wants. He, he doesn't want that spyglass to stick around. So. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Let's draw a car now. Uh, Ronnie does have a for shame, so that's gonna help a lot. For sure. Yeah. And because uh, the uh, steward of lies in. Oh, did he forget to use the ability from the fertile field before? I don't remember. So he already drew with the spyglass, right? No, I'm just saying. I don't know if he activated the fertile field. Maybe not. Okay. But yeah, here's that combo we were talking about. Yeah. Because the steward of lawns is in play, he can't dishonor, so he has to bow yeah. the border rider. Okay, this is gonna be a now. Oh wow. Okay. Damn. <clears throat> so Ronnie's showing like an impenetrable defense here at the conclusion yeah. of turn one. Just crazy. Don't want any of the <laughs> any of these things happening. Yeah, and unfortunately, with that with that calling in flavor, that c clutch calling in favor. Yeah, jeez, that was. To, uh, uh, he meant it well because you know Tyler obviously based on yep. the the plays that he was doing was setting up a long term economic uh, engine between course. the trader and the spyglass. Of course, and of course. With just one card, it was just denied from him. Yep. So so that makes sense why Ronnie played the. Um, Stuart early too, because um, you can't. I, if I recall correctly, you cannot do calling a favor if Stuart is in the conflict, because you cannot. Right, because you in yeah. order to resolve the you effect, you need to dishonor yes, exactly. a character. Right. Well, now I mean you can do it if <coughs> the character is honored, has oh, an honor status here token on he it. Is. So the big boy himself. So this is the reason why you why you. You insist on getting the the favor every as turn as soon as possible. Just exactly, because you want and just Kikita hold on to it. Now, I would put Kakita at two, and then play she's away for zero, because yeah. she's gonna keep snake around. Now we should probably pull up uh, Yoshi. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until he plays it. So yeah. there we go. Kakita Yoshi oh, shows up. Man. I think, in my opinion, out of all the Dynasty cards that's come out, yeah. I think he's the best card. Well, every time I play Kid Yoshi, I've never been able to actually trigger it, so I don't know. I, we might happen this time, because, <laughs> okay. you know, Unicorn don't really have That's a lot of true. Shigenges. Unless he's got um, a oh, Shoto wielder or something <laughs> to claw the left. The one that, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember him. <clears throat> That's right. I wonder what, what Tao's going to answer with. Maybe you know, Mo Moto Juro? Oh, maybe. Yeah. With the Eater Trader? Yeah, Moto Juro Big. And then I don't think Ronnie wants to buy this uh, Shizue. As isn't, much as it isn't Shizue anti combo with uh, Yoshi because you want to throw away the Imperial favor, right? No, but you oh, get you the get Imperial favor yes, right before right. the. Okay. Moto Jiro gets played. <coughs> yeah, we're hoping that uh, Tyler can try to pull off, but now that Ronnie's started to get his engine, now it's gonna look. All right, we just got another judge call. I so. will. There. Yeah, Sungo's gonna go grab that. Right. Meanwhile, we go to Dials for Ronnie and Tyler. And Ronnie's probably gonna. Ooh, 4 4 this time. So Ronnie consistently bidding for it seems between turn one and turn two. Uh, this is a way to, you know, wants to maintain his honor lead at the same time, just kind of feeling out what, what Tyler is gonna bid over over the first couple of turns and maybe adjust his bid on future turns based on that. So it looks like actually, uh, based on the 
the, the card Tyler just flashed. Sorry. I, uh, it what's it up? looks like um, Tyler's actually running a Scorpion Splash and Unicorn. I just saw oh. I just saw a Forged Edict. Interesting. Which is makes sense because, well, I, know, yeah. I mean, Edict Trade, you put it in anyway, but if I saw another Courtier, this might make more sense. So I see that uh, Ronnie's playing a new Crane uh, Conflict character um, where you... Um, Dishonor him mm -hmm. or her? I think. Oh, it's the uh, it's the Shinobi, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I never thought about that. Oh, here's Cautious Scout. This is the this is the most usefulness I've ever seen out of a Cautious Scout. FYI. Oh my pilgrimage. <laughs> now here's something that Cautious Scout can do uh, that uh, even a and a, even a Pathfinder Blade can't do, which is turn off pilgrimage. I know. What an interesting. Uh, <laughs> Way of telling me that uh, clearly crab is not the splash for uh, crane, eh? Why splash Pathfinder Blade when you got Cautious Scout? So it looks like three to seven right now, and of course Tyler can always pull. Uh, can always pull I'm back. I'm surprised a, um, he did. Uh, I guess he doesn't want. Uh, it's actually four to seven. My bad, because of the uh, Imperial favor on military. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Very interesting uh, yeah. that uh, Tyler's trying to commit a lot of cards into this. Maybe he doesn't want to... Uh, oh, Tyler must know that uh, he doesn't want to get uh, Noble Sacrificed. Ooh. That's a good Because of the fire conflict, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's going to Why else off. would he try to uh, commit a lot into this? So lead, lead against seven. Yep. So lead with a bonsai. Yep. He gains one, two, three, four, and loses an honor for kicking it. Yep. So now he's winning eight to seven. Mm -hmm. That's on to Tyler to uh, to respond. Mm, interesting. This is a great. This is a this is a really cool way of setting up a noble sacrifice here. I, it's forcing like it. Tyler to play cards out of his hand. Um, I mean, this is also good to know too that uh, yeah. Tyler's not running shameful display as well, because like I think what Tyler was probably trying to do is because um, you know unicorns get access to Talisman of the Sun. Right. Just Charge. move everyone to the thing. Wow. Charging a Shinjo, Shinjo Scout. I would have charged it. Uh, hmm. Okay. Clearly doesn't want to lose his uh, conflict. It makes sense. Will you want him to charge an Eda Trader instead? Well, I mean, doesn't he trigger himself when he does that? But you're, when you charge, you're not moving to the conflict. You're putting oh, it yeah, into play at, right, yeah. at that conflict. And the same. Yeah. So I think it looks like Ronnie is just going to let this happen, maybe. I mean, that's fine because look, your opponent just committed a bunch of a bunch of units and cars that Moto <coughs> Juro is now exhausted. Yep. So unless he's playing uh, playing something to ready him, which if he's playing Scorpion Splash, I'm not even sure what he would be able to do. Looks like Tyler is also trying to get Imperial Favor too. I saw a glimpse of a uh, sensor there. Ooh. But that's going to be really hard considering yeah. the palace is still around. So Tyler using the ability on Border Rider to ready. Oh, yeah. And now he's I think he's going to start with a... Uh... Every clan has their version of um, Brash Samurai. <laughs> Two costs is uh, yeah. <laughs> Border Rider for Unicorn. Uh, young Runemonger for Scorpion. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. So I think Tyler's gonna pro, gonna just poke again with a military conflict with the border rider, perhaps or no? Yeah. Oh, what he's so now he wants to trigger the uh, yeah, Eda Trader ability before it goes right. away. So so he's, he's gonna probably... he's gonna commit the Eda Trader first into a military. Yeah, military, yeah. and then send the border rider in. Yep. Oh, well, even if he does it on political, he can still do that with the border rider. No, it needs or, to be military. Or actually, you know what he can do? He can just move uh, Moto Jiro in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the. Uh, with his ability or yes. with a stronghold ability? Wow. He, yeah, so that's a manicured out of Frostbitten crossing. Huh. Maybe maybe the uh, maybe the popularity of uh, Yeah, maybe the popularity of Dragon has dropped to the mm -hmm. point where if a lot more people are playing Scorpion, having Manicure Garden and Fertile Fields is better than playing cross crossing crossing. Right, right. Usually for me, the yeah. only reason why I would do it is because, um, what do you call it? To get rid of Cloud Demise. But that's cool. 
So, uh, Ronnie actually just discarded the Imperial Favor there to draw three cards off Yoshi. Ho, 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 it begins. Man, if I, where's my phone? I need my uh, air horn. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, uh, so that was uh, Court Games and then Court Games back, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can't, can't, get, can't get Yoshi with a dishonor there. Yeah. I mean, Yoshi's done his job. Defending this conflict. Mm, look at that, eh? For shame. So Here here's we a go. for shame. Yeah, could eat a traitor is a courtier. <laughs> well, he sure is. What do you think? You think you just bow and let just this happen? Bow. Just bow. Yeah. Oh no, 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 he will break it if he does that. Uh, maybe he might. You said he had a. Uh, I'll go. I guess that Shinobi's not uh, doesn't have any political, perhaps. But. Uh, I would. Uh, I would start with. Court, uh, with policy with debate. Policy debate, just to make sure that nothing uh, goes out. But my now he doesn't have a duelist. Is right. No duelist, so he only gets three cards. So he names the vent, I assume. Yeah. Oh, I feel so good. A oh, voice of honor. Oh my too. god. Now that voice of honor actually can't do anything yet because they have nope, the same he's amount. Of, no, because he can yeah. wave the crane. No. Oh, that's true. I mean, he'll have to wait a turn to do it, like a wait a yep, action window yep. cycle. But knowing to see that he has a, let's see, but you can you can see like the power of this deck, like you were saying, Sung Ho, right? Like, Ronnie is just burying his opponent in yep. card advantage. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna continually get yeah. So now Tyler's gonna just get the value out of it. Yep. Yep. Here we go. I would say card draw. Okay. Fate. Probably if, if Tyler's setting up for next turn, he might want to be able to play both Eda Traders That's or Eda Traders yep, or something I like that. else. So. I like that. So, hot rival. Yeah, political rival. Oh, See, that's yeah. why he didn't he didn't care about Yoshi getting bowed. Yeah, because now you just have same amount of guy with yep. two fade on him. Oh, yeah. Love him as an attacker. Love him as a defender. So now we're back to... Sorry, I forgot to change the, the, uh, the values, but now he's still at 6 yep. to 4. So Ronnie is win winning this conflict. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a copy of Outwit. Interesting. But no need to play it as he's about to win the... Hmm, I wonder... I misread all the area, but I don't know if he gained a... <laughs> Here's easy policy to pay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's easy nine, policy to pay. Nine to two. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know why I'm bringing this card up. Everyone knows knows what it does already. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, Thotsies. <laughs> oh, was that an Eda Messenger in Teller Sand? That's interesting. Yeah. Can you pull up what Eda Messenger does? Sure, let's take a look at that. Because I actually, I'm not even sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know he does something where he pays fate and he does something. Yeah. Cautious Scout and Eda Messenger in the same game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's okay. crazy. Sorry, I, what does it do? So it... Um, during conflict, you can spend a fate yeah. to choose a character you control to move them to the conflict. So, oh, so you yeah. try to get as much. Uh, and it's okay. a court. It's a courtier too. Courtier so it combos yeah. with uh, with four G dicks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course, now Ronnie's probably yeah. like, oh god, another one. <laughs> Send him home. But I guess it doesn't matter because there's yeah. only so one guy still there. <laughs> Show me. Uh, talisman. <gasps> Ooh, so yeah, I think you get rid of it. Oh, no. Yeah, I get rid of the 4 GX. So I think now, at this point, Ronnie has a pretty good idea what uh, what kind of game plan Tyler's going for. He's running <clears throat> he's running a Unicordier deck, but it's it's built a very different way from the yes. most Unicordier decks I yes. see. Because they they normally uh, splash Crane. Yep, for the Steward Unicord. and yeah. Paw Rival. And... Uh, so maybe we'll ask Tyler after after this game uh, exactly why he chose to go that way. But in the meantime, it looks like uh, Ronnie does end up defending that conflict successfully. Mm -hmm. I would probably go for a political attack as well. But which type of province are we going into, though? Meditations? Two guys with no faith? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, the, the Doji Whisper is still in it. So Jeremy was asking who the announcers are. So I'm Victor, and I've got Sung Ho with me. Now, I think we actually share the same chat with the X-Wing players. Oh, I see. So I'm not sure if they're see. talking about it. Okay. So, but, yeah. If you're, if you're here watching L5R, uh, Jeremy, 
then uh, it's uh, victor and sangho so it looks like a political void conflict going into meditations like you said mm -hmm. i'm Wall. surprised he didn't commit with the uh other character as well but maybe he wants to defend with mm -hmm. uh oh yeah okay yeah i mean what if he gets assassinated here i mean the ring just goes back in right I guess that's not that bad. <coughs> so Moto just, Jiro just comes in just to make sure that the, uh, he doesn't lose an honor off not defending. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And I think, what, Tyler has one more, he has a military conflict left? left? He does. Yeah. He does. So winning the winning the void conflict, but not breaking, he still uh, removes the fate from Motojuro. So it looks like at the oh conclusion of this turn, uh, Tyler's entire board's going away. That is gonna be. But you're gonna leave Ronnie with a huge advantage going into the next turn. Kikita honored. Oh, and another, another steward. steward of law. Interesting. Oh, okay. All right. So he's playing that pre-conflict, I think, to. Uh, to intercept the border rider during Tyler's next conflict. Yes. It's going to be a military. Military water, was it? Maybe try to go up glory, but he's not going to be... I don't think he'll be able to win that. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, military yeah. earth going to manicure garden. <coughs> yeah, tell her just to get cards back. So I, 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 I get that. Yeah, for sure. Although it's disheartening when you see your opponent with like Nine ten, plus ten, cards. 10 more cards yeah. and you're looking at earth ring, it's like, it's just one card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. No. <laughs> you can't have it. Jeez. Wham. Yeah, for shame. Bowing, uh, oh my gosh. Rider. So now Ronnie's <coughs> winning. He's making absolutely sure that he can get the Imperial favor. I mean, he will be getting it again. It's, he just so doesn't want to lose a card. It seems like he's been, he's been spending a lot more. Like it, it seems like he's been winning his defense a lot more than his attacks. Yes, yeah. yes. I agree. Because like, no, yeah. Yeah. no problems have been broken. No problems have been broken yet. So at the conclusion of the, the round, he loses both Steward of Laws. Ronnie loses one honor, going down to 10. Gains one honor because of the Cautious Scout, going back up to, whoops, sorry, going back up to 11. And meanwhile, Tyler's still sitting at 8, but he's going to gain one because of the Eda Trader, going to 9. The initiative passes, and we're on to the next turn. So Ronnie decides he wants military favor. It's been working out well for him. Of course, Yoshi's still active. And uh, not a lot of hope for Yeah, not a lot not a lot of hope for Tyler to do to to get rid of that ability. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So yeah, commanding board presence, Ronnie's achieved his uh, <coughs> card advantage and now I think he can start pushing through province breaks. Yeah. Keeps the Keeps the Shizue and the Scout, obviously keeping the <laughs> Imperial Palace. Hmm, interesting. Now, maybe Tyler goes for the that one cost courier that he gets buff every when he doesn't have the favor. Yeah. But starts with uh, oh, Satoshi. Yeah, Satoshi. I like him. I like Satoshi him a lot. super popular when he came out at first. I mean his. His sort of uh, his sh his star has dulled a little bit since his release. Yeah. But uh, still really good, especially in Unicordia. My goodness. And cautious scout, another cautious scout for uh, for Ronnie. Yes. <laughs> a little over halfway through the through the time on the second round. And w one of the one of the the risks of playing a deck like Ronnie's where you you know you sort of you fight to a stalemate in the first couple of turns yep. build up your advantage and then start pushing through yep. province breaks is that you have to make sure you're doing that stuff in a timely manner because you, you know you just don't want to be going to time every single turn yeah 
I think he's just confirming how much he wants to bid. I'll yeah, go so like four again just yeah. to see more cards. I mean, Tyler bid five first round, then he bid four the second round. Now he's going going low. I mean, Ronnie's already taken a bunch of... Uh, That's correct, yeah. He's taken a bunch of cards already, so now he can start uh, pressuring the honor on uh, Tyler's side. I agree. Because Tyler needs to catch up. and You know, and, and another thing I've noticed, Ronnie, is that like a lot of the more popular control, quote control decks, mm -hmm. especially the Scorpion ones, uh, it's a lot of, uh, I think, what Tobin Lopez from the Art of War cast describes as uh, big hand, small board. So oh, you yeah. play one guy pass, oh, yeah. and we actually haven't seen Ronnie do that at all. Yeah, yeah um, I believe... He, like, plays his... Fa he uses all, almost all his fate every single yeah. turn. It's kind of cool. Because, like, uh, like, Crane doesn't get access to Kachiko, right? There's, so there's no incentive for them to right. keep a lot of the um, fate, and uh, Yoshi makes... Fate costs only two, right. which is a lot better than four or three, maybe with a city of lies or something. Yeah. So, I believe both players are just going end of, uh, they're just about to go to the conflict. Okay. So Kasha Scout, Ronnie. Oh, so Tyler foregoes oh. to uh, yeah. skip his conflict. Yeah. Oh man, that's uh. What was that one? Dear you just public flipped? forum. Public forum. Oh dear. With the scout. Oh my god. Oh my god. With a value of three, so it's gonna break. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bec between the uh, between the imperial favor and the ability. Oh jeez, look at that. <clears throat> So now does Tyler defend? Uh, I mean, he does have a talisman, so he could just slap it on Satoshi yeah, I and think move it to pure yeah, I think you should. Like, <laughs> You want that province to at least soak up. Uh, but the risk to that is if Ronnie has any military no, buff, of course, you don't, of course. You don't He's like, yeah. all right, fine. I don't get to break for him, but now I get to break something else that's good. And you can't use your province ability because he's still blank. Wow. Yeah, it's still, still on Tyler, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure if he's... <coughs> they're already in the conflict, or he's still deciding? Okay, I he believe decides now he decides. In. So, two to three at the moment. So, Tyler probably wants to help use a talisman. Yeah, there and we're we go. going to go on a journey. <laughs> oh, I see it. I see his oh hand. Oh, my out. God. That's uh, brutal. I want it. Throwing it on Shizue. Oh, my gosh. She's going to stick for it forever. What's that? She's gonna stick around forever. Oh, that's true. Yeah, oh she's God. she's never gonna lose as long as the favor doesn't go away. That talisman's there permanently. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, crazy stuff. Oh my God, that's a second copy of Calling Favors. I yes, remember. It is. Yeah, so I've, Calling Favors what two influence or one? Uh, it is uh, two influence, I believe. So it must be two Calling of Favors and two Fate Worse and Death. What do you think? Nope. That's, Maybe. That's not the card. So, uh, Admit Defeat just got played. Uh, so now we've got... Uh, oh, man. We've got a break on our hands again. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, let's go. So public oh, form, not today. Countered. Oh, jeez. Yeah, man. He just doesn't want to see all the tricks in his hands. So. Yep. Now, uh, Gaijin Customs oh, is an dear. option, but I guess he doesn't have it, so looks like, indeed, the public form is getting broken. This is Ronnie's first uh, province win. Yes. It's, uh, it's a very masterful good wise, series of plays. Good, I think good decision Ronnie's, to not Ronnie's toss showing the card. exactly why he's the Crane Hatamoto with that, abil with that, uh, with that conflict. <coughs> So now it's on Tyler. Like I'm, I'm not sure if he has any conflict characters or Gaijin customs to ready his guy. Uh, I don't even think he's, and he hasn't triggered his, the ability on Satoshi yet either, right? That's correct, because Tyler wanted to pass first, right? So that he could get an extra fate. 
So this this might even lead to another province break with uh, Ronnie just oh like, my. yeah, now yep, this is going to go. be a political conflict, probably on pilgrimage, I think. Political fire, maybe? Yeah. You want to, dishonoring Satoshi, perhaps? I mean, Satoshi can move into the conflict because now he's cavalry. Yes. So he will have presence kinda, for whatever... Uh, I kind of want to go for water. No, no, no. Yeah. He already ate. No, no. This is his second conflict. Never mm -hmm. mind. Yeah. So yeah, fire what is it? political into pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Yeah. Got it. So it's nine plus three, twelve. That's a lot. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So now Tyler exhausts Come on in. to move in to have some presence. Come on in, friend. He's gonna need to do a lot more than that though to prevent this province break. He's about to draw some cards. Woo! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Satoshi. Or sorry, oh, Yoshi. Oh, oh my goodness, he drew a. He drew a Reminding everyone what that card does. Yeah. Court games as well, eh? <laughs> wow. So he could honor. Mm -hmm. oh, well, President yep. uh, Court Games. To honor. Yeah. Oh, to now honor he's gonna... who? He's just going to dishonor Satoshi now. Or re honor Oh, he's going to die. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right. Damn. Okay. Um, Okay. Gets it again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was a really that was oh a really gosh. bad turn for Tyler. Crazy. So yeah, Kazooie sticks around because the Imperial yep. favor. What a strong. Yep. Uh, and now, now with no fate left on Yoshi or the political rival, they're free to just go after the meditations now. <coughs> Unless if Ronnie aggressively tosses these uh, cards and just right. says, "I want to find another Yoshi." Yeah. I'd recommend that. Yeah. Toss it. Yep. You don't need her right now. And this would probably be the nail in the coffin if Ronnie does end up finding another Kakita here. So now one of the things I want to mention, this actually came up in one of the Battle for the Stronghold uh, events we had in Toronto yep. over the last week. Oh, that's right. Yes. Ronnie has uh, Tyler's Talisman of the Sun. Now, according to the rules, you cannot. Tyler cannot play another copy of his Talisman. I... I thought, can you not just remove, like, void it saying, I'm going to discard this copy? No. Oh, wow. You can't, I, I believe you can't overwrite unique cards. It's not like, uh... Oh, yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah. That. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's it's weird because you can play your own copy of Talisman of the Sun yes. if your opponent has their copy in yes. play. But if your opponent took control of your copy, you can't play another copy Jeez. on your side. So, we'll see if that actually, that ruling becomes relevant <coughs> in, a. Uh, in, in this game. Wow, that's gonna be a... Uh... Okay. So Moto Juro, I see an aggressive Moto 2. Yeah, no, I think it's zero and he just copied it. Oh, sorry, yes. Well, no, I mean, yeah. it looks no, like No, that's he... what he did. So he just didn't want to op opt to pay any extra fate on it. Right. So this is the aggressive Moto, I think. Yep. Four, no, three dash? Let's find out. It's three zero. Three zero. Okay. And cannot be defending. Yep. yep. Cannot be participating as a defender. So like the opposite of Kurumo Yujimbo <coughs> or Shiba Peacekeeper. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Well, I probably should have said who was paying two, but. Not. So Ronnie, yeah. I think now at fifteen to five. Yep. I think Ronnie just. If this game somehow goes beyond this turn or the next, all he has to do now is just keep just bidding go, one. Yeah, just go ham yeah, on top. one province and yeah. then hit the stronghold next turn. Between Tessa Skill and Yoshi, he, he's drawing all the cards that he wants. Mm -hmm. um, so he just needs to make sure Tyler can no longer draw cards through any sort of uh, honor dial stuff. So Cautious Ooh. Scout Cautious Scout has revealed every single province, I think, on Tyler's side. There's one more unknown. Yeah, and I think, well, that's what he's pushing for, I think. Yeah, he just wants to see what this yep. is. Cautious Scout going into the Eda Trader province. Manicure Garden, perhaps? Uh, you are yep. right. Somewhere. Okay, Manicure, Manicure Garden. Garden. I guess you just have to defend with Juro, right? So that you cannot risk a... Because Moto can't defend. For sure, yeah. So five against three. So probably just gain a fade and uh, go on our way. 
Yeah, right. It's all about oh. the poke, right? Forcing wow. him to he defend. Can steal the, he can steal the <laughs> talisman back. How can he steal the talisman? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can dishonor any character. It's not just a courtier. That's correct, yeah. yeah. You, just, you just have to dishonor the person who's getting it. What are the odds that Ronnie has a voice of honor in his hand, right? And I feel like I feel like if if Ronnie wants the favor so much, I would imagine he even has censures in his yep. hand. Yeah, I you know <laughs> that's what yeah. It's blue white control man. Well, it's actually blue red control. Blue red control. Blue red control. Yeah. Control that. <laughs> yeah. So was that? Is Tyler actually defending? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I I All right, so he's yeah, saying that's that my he final should. answer. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's brutal. Admit defeat. Oh, my God, another one. Yep. Well, at least it's not a break. What? It is a break? Oh, because it has one glory. It's honored. I was wrong. Yeah, the oh, thing shoot. is... Oh, uh, shoot, my bad. My bad. Yeah, the display was wrong. Yes. It's actually four strength. Yes. My bad. Our apologies. <laughs> I, counted the, uh, I counted the favor, but I forgot about the honor. Yes. Damn. Okay. So now Tyler has to do a, a military attack on water to try to ready up Juro. Because then yeah. he's run. Well, it doesn't even matter if Tyler can go into a conflict with water. He can co well, he can covert the... Uh, right. The problem is, like, I think if he does that, I think Yoshi just defends, yep. perhaps. Yeah. Yoshi defends, draws a million cards again, and yep. we go to town. Yep. Mm. Oh boy. Either Yoshi defends or maybe Savvy Politician. He does have the one military strength, so it's going to be a Oh, he hasn't even used the um, Academy yet. So three against two? No. Holy crap. <laughs> six against uh, three. That's crazy. No, Five, seven six, against three. Seven. Yeah, seven. Oh my god, he drew a copy of. Uh, Way of the Crane. But I guess it doesn't do much right now. I mean, he can use it to rehonor Doji uh, Shizue. But uh, Tyler's going to start with uh, Banzai. Oh, and he's down to honor. three honor. <coughs> Go up to seven. Paul C. to Bay, nine to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot lose. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's like, I've been one. Oh, what? yeah. Wow. Oh so yeah, I think yeah. Tyler missed his opportunity to play the the talisman. I think. So I mean, Tyler's still winning this conflict, but I'm pretty sure Ronnie's gonna have something to say about that. Yeah, he. There's, well, I mean, he can always move the uh, the talisman somewhere else. That's true. Yeah. So when he gets the value out of the fertile fields first, yep. then go over to. Oh, shameful! Oh. It is shameful. I mean, I guess he's he's gonna he wanted it specifically to honor the politician to get another value off of. Yeah. A so he's gonna do that. That doesn't decrease the uh, the strength on Tyler's side, but it does put uh, Ronnie up to eight strength. Yes. So now he's winning the defense. So he the honors yeah, Doji Shijue. Yep. Yeah. And now here's the assassination follow-up. So now Tyler's a two honor. Uh-oh. He just go for, oh my gosh. Yeah, because now uh, now I guess all Ronnie has to do is uh, do a uh, do a do an air conflict. Oh, no, sorry, arrow's already done. But using Yoshi's ability, discarding the, the uh, political favor. And now he uses the uh, Artisan Academy to reveal the fate worse than death on the top of his deck. Oh, that's gonna. Hmm. So I guess now uh, Ronnie can just go political and stronghold, right? Just no like. It's true. Yeah, it's uh. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. One could say, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's the. Uh, it's political, right? Yeah. Yes, now sir. political with political rival. Uh, <laughs> Golden Plains Outpost, of course, providing no defensive buffs. And it is. Oh, a I called it right in the streets. Right in the streets. Well, I mean, 
I know, but I mean like <laughs> not not doing anything, unfortunately. It's, uh, sadly, no. Yeah. But it is the province that Unicorn will most likely mm-hmm. use as. And it's political, so two, three, four, five, six. Monojiro moves in. Uh, court games to dishonor. <laughs> oh my God! He's just he's just oh, showing he's off noble, no, he's gonna oh, noble, noble sacrifice, sacrifice and. Okay, he okay, messenger. Okay, thank God. Yep, but here's the noble sacrifice. Getting rid of his honored scout, killing Motojiro, bringing Tyler to one. One honor. Oh my he, God. He has a, Ronnie has a chance of winning both, either through the stronghold break or the thing. And now just Ronnie just tapped his fate worse than death, being like, okay, I'm just going to play this on your Eda messenger. Yo. So <laughs> if, you, if you somehow uh, defend this attack, then you yeah. will lose. But Tyler's just like, I'm going to fight it out to the end. So he goes, okay, fate worse than death. Go home, get dishonored. Um, I have a bunch of thing, and there's the game. Wow. So that was really well played by Ronnie. I think he showcased the, the power of not only Kakita Yoshi's ability, uh, but he also turned me into true believer as far as cautious scout goes. Oh, my God. You're going to be taking out the brass samurai no, from your sorry, deck, right? Man, no, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a one-two punch, you know? I'm going to oh defend with brass yeah. samurai to trigger my, uh, yeah. trigger my um, voice of honor. So I'm going to attack with cautious scouts to... Uh,